Hello everyone, welcome to Mechanical Academy and here we are going to solve a problem from GET 2021 set ME1. An overhanging beam PQR, so this is PQR a overhanging beam, is subjected to uniformly distributed load 20 kN per meter. So this overhanging beam is subjected to an uniformly distributed load of 20 kN per meter as shown in the figure. And the maximum bending stress developed in the beam is to be determined. And the unit of maximum bending stress is given MPA. So we have to determine in MPA. And cross section of the beam is given here. So this is the cross section of the beam and all the dimensions here are given in millimeter. So to determine bending stress, we have to determine bending moment or rather the maximum bending moment developed in the beam to determine the maximum bending stress. So first we will determine what are the reaction forces here. So first let me draw the beam once again here or rather draw the free body diagram here. So at point P reaction is RP and point Q reaction is RQ. If this is 20 kN per meter and the length of the beam is 2000 plus 1000, 3000 millimeter that is 3 meter. So 20 into 3 that is 60 kN which will act midpoint of the beam. So this is 60 kN. This is 1.5 meter and this is 0 0.5 meter. Now if we apply equation of statics and if we take moment about point P that is 0 then we will get that RQ into 2 is 60 into 1.5 and from that RQ becomes RQ becomes how much 90 divided by 2 that is 45 kN. If RQ is 45 kN then RP will be what RP plus RQ is 60. So RP will be 15 kN. So we have determined RP and RQ. Now let us determine what are the bending stresses at different location of the beam. So this is the free body diagram. So now we can replace this beam So here 15 kN and some point here this is P, this is Q, this is R 45 kN. So this is the free body diagram of the beam. Now if we take a section that is now if we take a section at x greater than 0 less than 2 meter less than 2 then we will get like this. This is 15 kilo Newton
mx and this is the total load will act at the midpoint which is 20 into x this length of the beam is x so what will be mx that is bending moment at this section so mx will be rather right here so mx will be how much 15x minus 20x into x by 2 this distance will be x by 2 so that is 15x minus 10x square so this is the equation of bending moment over this limit now take another limit that is x because here is a discontinuity x greater than 2 less than 3 and the free body diagram over this limit will be like this Fifteen. This is forty five kilo Newton. And the resultant will act at the midpoint with and the value is twenty X. And bending moment considering positive that is MX. So here mx will be up to this it will be same that is 15x minus 10x square plus 45x minus 2 the whole length is x. So this will be what? mx will be 45 plus 15 that is 60x minus 10x square minus 90. So these two are the equation of bending moment at two different limits. So let me erase this. And let me draw here so this reaction is 15 kilo Newton and here reaction is 45 kilo Newton so if I draw the shear force diagram to determine or rather to locate the position of maximum bending moment so if we draw the shear force diagram so shear force here will be 15 and that is positive and due to this distributed load this will be a straight line and at so this was 2 meter and this was 1 meter so 2 into 20 that is 40 the total downward load is 40 and here it is 15 so at this point it becomes minus so bending moment diagram will be like this vx sorry that is z so this was dead z direction or we can here to solve in gate you can denote it I already have denoted by x so let us consider this is x along the length it is x so this you can consider z no problem so this is 15 plus 15 here it is 40 minus 15 minus 25 okay so at this point this is minus 25 
and after that at this point there is a discontinuity because this is a load 45 so minus 25 plus 45 so this will be plus 20 and then 20 into 1 the total load is 20 and here it is plus 20 so this becomes 0 so this is the shear force diagram now look at carefully here that shear force has been changed changed its sign at two points at this point and this point so these two points will be the location of maximum positive bending moment and maximum negative bending moment now if i draw the bending moment diagram let me erase this and only write m x equal to this so if i draw the bending moment diagram that is m x so bending moment at x equal to 0 if we put x equal to 0 that becomes 0 and this is a equation of parallel and it will be maximum at this point and it is maximum at this point and becomes zero at which point and it will become zero so when bending moment will be maximum that is dmx by dx is zero that is 15 minus 20x so x is 15 by 20 okay so x is 15 by 20 so at this point bending moment is maximum and shear force is zero so this length is this length is 15 by 20 meter okay now at x equal to zero we got that bending moment is 0 and at x equal to 2 if we put x equal to 2 mx at x equal to 2 that is 30 minus 40 minus 10 so at this point this becomes minus 10 okay so this is a parabola looks like and here let us put mx at x equal to 2 that is also what 120 minus 40 minus 90 that is also minus 10 so here it is 10 and at x equal to 3 that is the free end that will be 0 and equation will also satisfy that that is 180 minus 90 minus 90 so at the free end this becomes this so this value is minus 10 so this is m negative max so maximum value of negative bending moment occurs at x equal to 2 and value is minus 10. Now let us calculate what is this value which occurs at x equal to 15 by 20. If you put this value to here then you will get how much 15 into 15 divided by 20 minus 10 into 15 square divided by 20 square 5.625 so this value is 5.625 so this is nothing but what this is nothing but m positive max so this is the value of positive maximum bending moment and this is the value of negative maximum bending moment 
the positive and negative bending moment is the sense of moment only okay so maximum bending moment is 10 kilonewton meter so maximum bending moment at here so the maximum bending moment on the beam is 10 kilonewton 10 kilonewton meter so m max is 10 kilonewton meter because the negative and positive signs denotes only the sense of the moment if bending moment on an element is like this that is positive bending moment if bending moment on an element like this that is negative bending moment so this sign denotes only the sense of the moment so positive maximum bending moment is 10 kilo newton per meter now maximum bending stress will be a max y by i so m max is 10 kilo newton so 10 into 10 to the power 3 from this cross section y is half of this y is half of this that is 50 millimeter so into 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 converting to meter and i of this rectangular section will be half b that is 24 into 100 cube into 10 to the power minus 12 converting all these terms into meter and from this the sigma max becomes how much this this cancelled out 2 and 2 and this becomes 25 so 25 this is 10 to the power 6 minus 12 that is 250 into 10 to the power 6 pa that is 250 mpa so maximum bending moment sorry maximum bending stress developed in the beam is 250 mpa so maximum bending moment is 10 kilo newton meter and maximum bending stress that is sigma max becomes 250 mpa so we have plotted the bending moment diagram and we have seen bending a uh, shear uh, sorry first we have plotted shear force diagram and we have seen shear force changes its sign at two points at point here and here and here bending moment positive sign is maximum and bending moment negative sign is maximum where sign denotes only the sense of moment so maximum bending moment is 10 kilo newton meter which generates a bending stress of 250 MPa. So the answer is 250 MPa. Hope you have understood. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel to get new videos on mechanical engineering.